Hey everybody, welcome to Wednesday. I'm Wesley the Writer. <laughs> and today we're going to talk about how to take advantage of stability. Um, I think a lot of people kind of have the wrong idea when it comes to using or utilizing resources in order to get to better places in life. I know that I was one because I was so focused on my own personal kind of pride, I guess you could say. Um, but that was the wrong way to think about it. And so today we're going to talk about the ways in which we can go about um, being helped better. <laughs> I, think, I think that's a good way to put it. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. I want to say that um, the way in which most people get their success should not really register to us who have not gotten that far yet. I think it's more important to focus on um, the, the needs that you have in the moment and then from there um, just kind of assess how you can get um, to that level in which you know you could help someone else um, putting the emphasis of your stability or basically just, what I'm trying to say is don't compare your apples to their oranges it's like a person who has more than you is actually a really good resource in a plethora of different ways, particularly looking at um, how they have gotten to where they uh, where they are. But also, people have the ability to do more for you as long as you put in an effort to show that you're not wasting their time. Um, a lot of people. Um, like to well they value your time because I even like to say it when I uh, when I work I don't work so that I can make more money I hear a lot of people say get that money work for money blah 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 you're working for your time um, I I was introduced to this book called um, what is it thinking think big um, and I think it's called think big it's like think big or thinking big um, and so what you need to do is think about the big picture that you're after like what is success to you uh, for me I am successful you know um, I'm writing my the book that I wanted to write I'm doing my podcast I have my family I'm working my family business so that to me is successful um, there are other things that I want yeah I want bigger things but my success is coming from what I have now and setting up what I have now to help me to get to what I want later on does that make sense I hope it does um, I'm basically saying that I've molded my life to revolve around the things I hold most important that first being God then my family and then my interests so everything that I have I can give to God because I put God first I have my family who serves the Lord alongside me and you know that's including the church and all of that and I have my passions and my hobbies that keep me focused and grounded in what it is that I'm really trying to achieve and so all of these things play on each other um, and they play well with each other uh, because again that's the life that I'm looking to live and so I'm not looking to flood my time with a bunch of nonsense and uh, that would be like wasting my time on um, you know just 
always on social media always looking at someone else's success and saying like oh i don't have this i want this so much and you know all of that um but anyway stability and utilizing stability um particularly is one of the key things that will allow you to reach that next level in your life whether that's starting out like we talked about before yesterday with being homeless and then moving on from homelessness to stability or if you're looking from a point of stability and looking to achieve the next thing that you've been after um, you have to look to where people who are doing what you want um, to achieve are doing you have to look to that look to like if there's a person who own, owns a home and you know that you want to be a home owner you want to get into conversations with those people or with that person to see if they can help you or guide you in a proper way to achieve that goal rather than to try and just do everything on your own. Um, I was reading um, a book. I think it was the Bigger Pockets book on um, on real estate property investments and the author Brandon Turner he had said that you can build a team of people who don't know that they're on the same team so what that meant in his book is a little different from how I perceived it um, and that was that you can build a network of people to help you in your situations and that's nothing and it's nothing wrong with that people don't have to know that they're that everybody's helping the one person you know, everybody has their own special uh, niche things that they're into. Everybody can help you in different ways. And so that's a good way to structure your assistance and getting to those next levels. Um, I like to use the homeless uh, topic before to kind of illustrate this point where you can utilize the church like I had mentioned. You can utilize government assistance you can utilize um, the library and you know your phone and all of these things can work together uh, to help you get to where you need to be it's just you, again you have to put in the work um, and in honest that is going to take a lot of effort and it's going to take a lot of hard work um, that's why you can't really get your emotions involved with the process of moving forward because the more that you continue to feed yourself, right, to feed into that emotional state, just like the analogy with the chef and, you know, being a producer rather than a consumer, you want to you want to be able to send that away from what's going on in your kitchen, right? You want to be able to focus on what's really the the thing the the thing you're really supposed to be focused on not just um you know kind of getting mad because you got to take an extra couple of hours to work a shift or you gotta you know you gotta hop on 18 different buses to get to where you gotta go or all of those things require are required for you to get to that next level and if you're not willing to do it then you can't really complain about what you don't have and what you don't you know what you don't uh, particularly um, what am I trying to say you don't need to worry about the next level if you're still sitting in what you've got now and complaining about um the things around you it don't work that way I would like to say though that anything is possible as long as you put your head to it you know um, you just have to be willing to be guided um, through all of that that's why I keep mentioning leadership uh, because again you can't just be a leader you have to be led first led to some conclusion 
led to some understanding. Um, and that sounds like you have to just give yourself away to whatever is available to you. And to be fair, that's true. Um, it doesn't matter where you are um, on a geographical scale. If you can get behind someone who is doing it better than you, learn from them and then take what you've learned and apply it to be able to get to a position above them when then you're doing it right. That's not to say that you should kick someone down a, a social ladder or something to try to fight your way up. That's not how that works. What that means is if you're going to try to use the resources and the abilities of other people you're going to have to do it in a way that you're not being a hindrance to that person that you're instead being quiet and paying attention to that person so that when they guide you to that next thing that job that you know that um that situation that they might be paying you for you know, if they are, if they're putting you up in a place so that you can get yourself together, you know, well, take advantage of that, and and don't think that that's the time for you to chill, right? The only time you get the chill is when you don't have to work anymore, when you can literally let your assets take care of you, rather than to continue to uh, live paycheck to paycheck. And that's another thing that we'll probably get into a discussion with on the next podcast or the next episode is you don't want to rest on your laurels until your assets are providing for you. Um, and you don't want to keep chasing a paycheck because if you keep trying to chase that paycheck and keep talking about, I want $15 an hour, I want $16 an hour, that's not going to help you get anywhere. You need to focus on what you can effectively control and then to move on. That's not how capitalism works. Your paycheck is not meant to help you live. Your paycheck is to help you get to a point where you can live. But again, that's for the next one. So anyway, I'll catch you there. In the next one, this has been Wesley the Writer. I'm out. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, chapter 5 is going to be releasing this Friday. If you haven't already, please go back and listen to the other chapters that I released uh, for the Pinewood High School incident. The book itself is going along very well, and I am thank you for your support. Um, be sure to leave me a comment letting me know what you think of each chapter. And yeah, let's go ahead and listen and see what the rest of the story has in store for us. All right. Catch you guys in the next one. Later.